That breaking news, autopsy results have been released for the teen who fell from a ride at Icon Park while visiting Orlando on spring break. 14-year-old Tyree Sampson was riding the free fall drop ride March 24th when he suddenly fell out of his seat. Now, for the first time, we're hearing the details about this fatal fall. West 2 investigative reporter Greg Fox is here with us. And Greg, you have the medical examiner's report. And it pretty much uh, uh, it tells us what we had suspected early on because of the, the terrible tragedy uh, that led to this teen's death um, after falling from this ride that it really had only been open for a few months. Here are the key findings. The manner of death was ruled an accident. The cause of death, blunt force trauma. Tyree Sampson suffered multiple injuries, including a fractured jaw, broken arm, a broken leg, and fractures of a number of ribs. A drug screen was done, which is typical in these exams, and was negative for the presence of drugs. It was just after 11 o'clock at night on March 24th when Tyree and his friends visiting from St. Louis boarded the 430-foot-tall freefall ride. When it descended, Tyree fell from his seat. At the time, he weighed 383 pounds. He was allowed to ride the freefall despite the manufacturer recommending a maximum weight of 287 pounds. I talked with a Samson family attorney about that just a short while ago. This is just another painful, powerful confirmation of the unnecessary and tragic death that Tyree suffered. So this medical examiner's report confirms that Tyree was 97 pounds over the maximum requirement. And he never, never should have been able to be on that ride in the first place. An investigative report released April 18th by a private engineering firm hired by the state revealed the safety sensor on the shoulder harness was manually adjusted to accommodate Tyree's size, but it allowed a seven inch gap between the harness and the bottom of the seat big enough for the teen to slip out. On April 25th, Tyree's parents filed suit in circuit court in Orange County seeking unspecified damages against Icon Park, Orlando Slingshot and the manufacturers of the ride. The free fall and its companion ride, the slingshot, remain closed while the state continues its investigation.